Hey guys, welcome to this video. Uh, in the previous video, we learned how to get data from model in the controller and pass data to the view. It means a concept of MVC was almost explained. Now it is time to go for our real CRUD. And when I click in on the post, we come to the post pages and here I should have a button. Just on when we click on this, we get a new view to create a new post. So for that, uh, Tailwind is actually configured with this project and that is that will be very easy to if I create a new button here uh, in this portion and saying this new file. So I'll go for that and coming to our view section and uh, our users is having a folder. I want to create a new folder for our post as well. So that will be much organized and clicking on the view and creating a new folder let's say posts and uh, i'll move this post file from here to post folder and when i move this everything will just uh, everything where this post was used and that will that will be wrong the address will be wrong so i should have i have to go to first our controllers post controller and change the here change the address post start post because post is the folder and the post is the the next post is the file name and coming to this file post dot blade you can see it is the title h2 and the title of the page and in line with this post i want to create a new button so and under this uh, h2 i just write a, a tag and inside new post if I save it, we get something under this one. So that's the link. But I'll go for the for X Lord and give it a class of flex. Let's see what we get. Okay, we do not get anything. Let's say I'll I'll give a new div uh, and put these two elements, our H2 and A anchor tag inside the div. And move the display flex class to this div. Let's save it and say, here you go. We got this one. And just saying that display flex and uh, justify and uh, between. Here you go. We just move the button to here. Now it is uh, our expertise in Tailwind to design it. Let's say a border we need. A padding X of 5 and a padding Y of 2 and a background color, let's say blue, BG blue 500. Let's save it and what we get. That is fine. Now, when I click on this, I should be um, redirected to another uh, page where I uh, just see the form to create a new post. So, for that, I have to put the uh, route here. We can use the previous uh, methods route and the route name let's say new post new post and now we have to create a new view and a new route for the new view i'll create on the post folder and create just say uh, create post or uh, post form we can use this form uh, for our edit for modifying our post as well so post form dot or just for form dot blade dot php inside this i'll write some forms and that will be behind the scene uh, before that i will go to the to our routes and mention the and create this new route that we have given here new post so that is just for accessing that is why i can use the previously route post let's say post slash new that is a route and it will be shown and the name should be new post this name should match the one that we have used here new post and it should be also auth and should it go to any controller yeah controller method yeah we can just say we can go to create by by passing this create method or or we can just simply go with the previous versions let's say view 
and here instead of any method we can write the view name post post dot for post is the folder name and that is the uh, the file name let's refresh now if i click on this one uh, i may get an error yeah we got an error because our route is not okay here if we use it inside the echo section and uh, not binding it just say here you go post new and we don't have anything inside our form so that's why we cannot uh, see anything i'm just going to copy this all things that we had here inside the form paste undefined variable title that is because we have used this one uh, here create new post okay it is like it is looking wrong and we can just remove this one here you go. create new post and form will be here i will design the form here and put it here we only need three uh, uh, fields for our uh, post because uh, according to our migration in database migration and create post we need the title the content and the user id uh, we don't need even the user id we just need the title and the content uh, so our view is almost ready here we will write the post title here the content and we'll click on the submit post button uh, so for submitting we need after when we submit we need to go to the post controller and to the store as you can see it needs some requests so that should be the the type of the form the action should be to slash post slash create and the method to to send the data must be post and again for this route we have to create a new route in our web folder in order to submit this data and don't forget to put names for your input let's say name for this one is post underscore title or dash title you can use for the text area again you can use name and post content and for the button we don't need for this actually it can submit and, and now without this this route without creating this route in our web if we submit it we might get error and we say that not found one thing else this is for security reasons and it is saying 404 not found for each four we for each form we define we must say a csrf token which is a token and allowing only the session which is logged in to send data to the server so i'm coming back and refreshing here and just clicking on this this time though again we get this one that is because we don't have this route here so we have to come here and define a new route let's say route and this time the method is post and the method is post which route just say post slash create and it should go to the uh, use, uh, post controller post controller class and go to the uh, uh, store method and again it should be uh, only available for those uh, who are uh, authenticated or who are logged in and this time i'm going to get rid of this name so coming to the post controller and just writing a message here in order to see whether we get to this store method or not written uh, let's say what we get the request written the request let's just refresh it here and send here we go we got we got the token the post title is null and the description is also null so that's why we did not get those two but we got at least the uh, csrf token okay if we write something inside this title let's say post title 
and content we might get these two as well. here you can see the post title but still we are uh, we did not get the post content there might be uh, something wrong with this one name post content so okay this video might get longer uh, i will do uh, the rest in the next video to store our data thank you very much uh, if you like this contents, uh, kindly share it with your friends and like and comment your concerns. That's it for this video. Thank you very much.